Welcome to Royal News Updates. OMG. The Fab Four disaster, after losing some major titles, Sussex is called war on William and Kate. Before we start, please, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, Kate Middleton and Prince Willem becoming the so-called Fab Four was disastrous and wrong from the start, Richard Fitzwilliams tells Express.co.uk. Prince Harry has renewed his lease on Frogmore Cottage so he can deputise for the Queen if she falls ill, according to recent reports. The £2.4 million property was the home of Harry and Meghan Markle before the couple moved to Canada, and then the US in 2020. It means Harry is eligible to serve his grandmother as one of her four councillors of state because he is domiciled in the UK. Harry and Meghan have been distant from the royal family since leaving the firm in 2020. When the Duchess arrived in Britain, many anticipated that the Sussexes and the Cambridges would become the Fab Four, representing the modern side of the royal family. But Meghan's struggles in the institution coincided with an increasingly strained relationship between the Sussexes and the rest of the family, culminating in their 2020 departure. Harry and William are believed to have become embroiled in a feud over relationship advice the Duke of Cambridge gave his younger brother towards the start of his romance with Meghan. Meanwhile, the Duchesses are said to be very different people. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams tells Express.co.uk that the Fab Four plan was wrong from the start and ultimately disastrous. He said, I was one of those who bought into the idea of the Sussexes and the Cambridges being the Fab Four, and of course the whole concept was wrong from the start and ultimately disastrous. Bridges could be built between Harry and William this year as the Duke of Sussex is expected to return to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Vanity Fair's Katie Nicholl has said the brothers will have to come together for the Queen's celebratory weekend in June, and will have a chance to thrash out the differences that remain between them. Speaking to Birmingham Mail, she said the two brothers would be required to appear alongside one another, adding, both brothers will have to make concessions. The Jubilee should give them more of a chance to thrash it out. According to reports, Meghan has been in contact with Prince Charles, but it is still unknown whether the Duchess of Sussex will also return to the UK this year. While Harry returned twice last year dash for his grandfather Prince Philip's funeral, and the unveiling of the statue of his mother Princess Diana in July dash Meghan, and their son Archie have not stepped foot on British soil since their royal exit, and their daughter Lilibet has never been. A source told The Sun recently, there has been a definite thaw in relations between Harry and Charles. They are on much better terms and have been having friendly chats and video calls. It has allegedly been suggested to Harry he may live to regret any lingering family bitterness, and he has reportedly taken that on board. The source added, there is a feeling he is coming back more into the fold and wants to be closer to his family. While Harry is expected to return to the UK, his security is one issue that is causing him concern. Harry is taking legal action against the Home Office after it decided to not allow the Duke to pay for his own police protection while in the UK. His lawyers told the High Court this week that Harry does not feel safe when he is visiting the UK, a place that is, and always will be, his home. Referring to the Duke's claim over the Home Office decision, Shahid Fatima QC, said, This claim is about the fact that the claimant does not feel safe when he is in the UK given the security arrangements that were applied to him in June 2021, and will continue to be applied to him if he returns. And, of course, it should go without saying that he wants to come back, to see family and friends and to continue to support the charities that are so close to his heart. Most of all, this is, and always will be, his home. Harry's concerns follow an incident in London in 2021, when he returned to the UK for the unveiling of a statue of his late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, 
and his car was reportedly chased by photographers. The grounds on which the Home Office will seek to reject the Prince's claim also emerged on Friday, in a skeleton argument that was circulated. It argues that personal protective security for the Prince is still considered by UK authorities on a case-by-case -case basis due to his exceptional status. This depends on the reason for his presence in Britain and the functions he carries out when present. They also argue that the Prince failed to appreciate the role of the Home Office and the Royal and VIP Executive Committee, a task force of civil servants and Scotland Yard officers, as the expert, and democratically accountable, decision maker on matters of protective security. Thanks for watching, please, share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks. Subscribe to our channel.